Welcome back to News Talk. Since 2009, the Grassroots Project has become a staple in the D.C. community as they strive to make our city healthy. And here to tell us all about their initiative, we've got Ryan Springer, also David Lincoln and Simone Counts, all part of the Grassroots Project. Good to see you all and welcome. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Yeah, so Ryan, let's start with you because sure. you're a board member. Uh, tell sure. us a little bit about the Grassroots Project, how it got started, what's it all about? Sure. As you mentioned, it was started in 2009 uh, by Tyler Spencer, now Dr. Tyler Spencer. Uh, he just got his DRPH uh, from Oxford this week, I guess. And so uh, Tyler was a student at G uh, Georgetown, and so he wanted to, you know, work with the students in the community in D.C., and so he decided to form Grassroots Project. And so Grassroots really works with D.C. youth around their sexual health and HIV prevention. And so the unique piece of it is that they have these student athletes, David and Simone, uh, have played that role working with youth in D.C. to really engage around HIV prevention and sexual health. Now, see here, I thought it was about literacy. <laughs> and it's and health literacy. You're talking about HIV health prevention. Health literacy, health literacy. All right, so it's, it's really everything. Important. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you go into the schools. We're talking about high schools? or So middle school. Middle school. Um, and, of course, I'll let them get into the details of it. But we are in, I think, 15 schools at this point. Mm -hmm. And so there's a curriculum that Grassroots developed. And so they have weekly programs with the students. Um, and they're using sports and activities as a way to really communicate the information about health and wellness and sexual health. All right. Well, let's bring on the students here sure. that actually do the heavy work here. We've got David and Simone, and you're both student athletes, varsity athletes. Um, Simone, what school do you go to? Um, I attend Howard University. And what is your sport? Um, I run cross country and track and field. Wow. And David, how about you? What's your school and your sport? I'm at the George Washington University. I'm on the rowing team there. Wow. All right. Well, Simone, how did you get started in grassroots? Um, well, um, when I was a freshman, I came and I saw all these different athletes wearing the grassroots t-shirt. Um, and I went up to them and I asked them, what is what's grassroots? And um, they just gave me a brief definition of what they do and um, just really attracted me. Um, I'm also in uh, the healthcare field, so grassroots, um, like Ryan had mentioned, goes with public health and um, that's just my passion and so I was like hey this is something I want to be a part of. Wow. So give us an fun. example of something that you've done with the students. Yeah, so um, I'm the uh, Steer headed the girls curriculum and um, this was a really good curriculum to get women empowerment and to get the girls involved in decision making and just being and connecting to woman to woman and knowing that um, they one day can be leaders too. So um, during this girls curriculum we really connected and it was a really great way for them to feel comfortable and talk about different health issues and um, yeah just. Wow, wow. sounds fantastic. great. So who developed this curriculum? Ryan, did, so were you, this were you was part actually of this? no, I wasn't a part of it for the development. But Tyler, in the beginning, he worked with. I think the original program was in grassroots soccer, grassroots soccer um, in Africa, I forget South, Africa South Africa, South Africa. They're actually, they're all over the place uh, yeah. around Africa now. But so Tyler, back in, hope get mad if I get the date wrong, but maybe uh, <laughs> 2007, I think he was an intern for this organization, which does something very similar to what we do. They take a population in their case it was actually a lot of professional soccer players and train them as what we also call coaches so what we do with student athletes they did with these soccer players to run these sports-based interventions in towns in South Africa focused around drawing people in with the power of soccer and sport and then educating them about HIV self um, healthy choices making the right decisions and avoiding risk so that's basically we've since changed the curriculum quite a bit, but we do a similar thing here in D.C. Well, were you part of it when uh, the group went to Africa? So, yeah, so back in 2015, we took six student athletes, a couple board members, our then executive director and a few staff members, to South Africa in part to meet with some people from the grassroots, or from grassroots soccer and also a number of other really amazing nonprofits that are doing similar sport for development based programs wow, that around that area. such a great experience. It was incredible. It was really, I mean, I owe a lot to the Grassroot Project because it was very formative personally for me and what I want to do with my life. And it really, I think, we were able to learn a lot there and bring it back to what we do here in D.C. Wow. So now you brought that program back here. So what schools have you been into with that program? So it's changed since we started in 2009. We've been doing a couple, uh, the schools have changed a bit right now. We're in quite a few charter schools around DC. We've been in some of the DC public school systems uh, in the past few years. It's pretty much always changing. We're always looking to get into new schools and meet with new kids. Wow, that's great. So I, I want to talk, uh, Simone, a little more about this girls um, initiative mm -hmm. uh, because when you talk about 
HIV prevention and those kinds of things and, and sexual education. I mean, it's really important um, for everybody, but especially for women Definitely. who, uh, you know, it could be life changing um, the decisions that they make as young people. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit more about th that curriculum. Definitely. So um, I definitely think it was very successful. And if I can choose one word to sum up the program, I would say um, impactful. Um, just from the beginning to the end, you can see the trans transformation of these girls and how much they've learned and how comfortable they feel. And relating to comfortable, it's it's now we're in a place where it's woman to woman, like I mentioned before, and they feel comfortable talking to someone who may be similar to them and have similar similar issues. Um, so, like I said, I just think it was very impactful, and that um, the woman left or the girls left with. Uh, ways to be able to make decisions for themselves mm -hmm. and know that they are important and so is their health and putting themselves first. Now do you feel that the kids um, at the middle school level are very receptive to your message? I mean is part of it that you guys are uh, athletes and you're doing fun athletic kinds of things with them? Yeah. Um, well, what I, kinds of things do you do? To... Yeah I definitely think that um, grassroots is very unique in a way that we have a curriculum that's very interactive and we're playing games and it's not just a lecture and boring for them so that's why um, it's really important to get to play these games because they get involved and they want to answer questions and ask questions. So um, it's definitely a very interactive way to teach them, and I think they really appreciate that. There's a quote on the website if you go take a look. And so this eighth grader said, and I think she summed it up perfectly. She said, "The games are fun, the coaches are cool, and I actually learned how to protect myself." Uh -huh. I think that sums up exactly what grassroots wow. does. So you got to entertain them a little first uh, oh, to yeah, get their attention. Some cool coaches. <laughs> we definitely play yeah. some games that don't necessarily have the you know high-minded educational mm -hmm. values of some of our other games but it's all about really building a connection with the kids establishing the coaches and mentors and you know getting them really close and in a lot of cases for these kids they just don't feel comfortable talking to their teachers about you know some of these more sensitive issues and our goal in a lot of ways is to just give them another outlet to talk about some of really tough things in their lives that you know are very very important. Very important. And do they look upon you as um, the cool? <laughs> That's what we hope older for. That's kids that are coming to our school uh, yeah. And, yeah. and look up to you. And Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't vouch for every single program, but that is definitely <laughs> the goal that we have overall. Yeah. And you can tell that they really love you coming in because they'll be like, oh, are you going to be here next week? Uh, make sure you're here. Yeah. So yeah. Wow. they really look forward to seeing you. And you know, to say again, I think that's a really important piece of it, where you have the impact on the youth who are in these schools, but then also you have our coaches and our athletes. And for them, this is great development for them you know, throughout their college years as well. And so I think that two-part component to it, uh, combined with the athletics piece of it, is a great and unique component to grassroots of what they do. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, David, you mentioned that um, th this has impacted what you want to do with your life. Tell us a little bit about um, yeah, so what's I mean, going on. I can tell you, you know, I got involved with the organization not necessarily because I knew a lot or cared about public health in D.C. or around the country, but I did it because it sounded like fun. I had friends who were doing it and it was a good way to do community service. And from there, I really gained more of a passion for this cause and also for the cause of using sport as a form of helping people because I really think it has that power to have a great influence on people's lives. So that's kind of influenced uh, how I've been looking at jobs in the future. It's influenced internships I've taken. Um, so it's mm -hmm. really, I could say yeah. it was a very life-changing experience. Wow. So, so what is your project. major and what are you going to do after school? So uh, I'm actually an economics major. I know that I probably won't be doing economics after school. Uh, that it's just you know maybe part in part just being what part your of degree is yeah it's <laughs> piece like, of paper it's in been the a pocket great right? education <laughs> from GW and uh, I think it'll help me but I definitely want to stay more involved in the nonprofit side uh, probably focusing on sport for development internationally and also here in the US well this will be a great resume builder for sure <laughs> I hope so <laughs> <laughs> and Simone what is uh, what's your major and and what are you hoping to do when mm -hmm. you graduate um, I'm a health management major so grassroots hits right on wow. my, uh, my passion with um, pu for public health. Um, so after I graduate, I plan on getting my master's in public health um, in business administration and hopefully one day uh, create my own nonprofit just like Grassroots and just be a leader in the healthcare um, field.
Would you say that this has been life changing for you as well? Definitely. Just such an incredible experience to work with my colleagues and the children. Wow. So, um, Ryan, do people need, are you looking for more people like these uh, oh, bright students to get involved absolutely. in the project? Uh, we need more cool coaches. And so, part of, I think, where grassroots is and where we're trying to go, as David mentioned earlier, we're looking to expand into more schools. And to do that, we do need, you know, new athletes uh, brought to the table. So, I think we're just looking for partnerships with the school system, charter or otherwise, to expand. Um, we're looking at continuing research on the program. We've done some research to show that we do have a huge impact and a significant impact on the health literacy of our, our, our students who are coming in. And so we want to look at long-term benefits uh, of the program and changing behavior. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at partnerships across uh, all of those aspects. So folks can certainly go to our website at www.grassrootproject.org and you can contact us there. You can donate on the site there and you know, seek more information if you're looking for it there as well. What a great project, and thanks for coming in and all to uh, tell us all about it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, uh, Ryan Springer, David Lincoln, and Simone Counts with the Grassroots Project. And we're back. We have more news talk coming up in a minute.